Hello me lovelies. Yes, it's me, Tracy Ireland, from Warren Road. I'm out for a little Christmas stroll, enjoying the view of Torquay. I better get home to start the show. She's a saint, she's a star from heaven. We can bathe in a glow. She's a woman's form of seasons. She's the gold at the end of the rainbow. Wow, that was quite a rush. Anyway, welcome to Hideaway Cottage. My lovely friend, the professor, has popped up on my screen. He's been digging for the truth. I've been scrutinizing the newsletters from councillors and politicians that have been landing on our doormats. Oh darling, you need to get out more. When anything from the council lands on my coconut matting, it's soon swept up, twisted around until it looks like a chipolata, and used to light my fire. The thing is Tracy, you're not alone. Only 30% of people use their vote around here. Why vote, when nothing ever changes? I voted Liberal Democrat last time, because they promised to license private landlords. Once in power, they ditched the idea. No doubt, the opposing Tories will accuse the Liberal Democrats of being the party that tells lies. Well, they only have themselves to blame. Still, the Lib Dems helped Torbay's highly troubled children's services achieve a much improved rating. Credit where credit is due. So, clever professor, what nuggets have you taken, from the Focus newsletter and flyers? I expected to read about their achievements. Instead, the newsletter simply promised more cameras to combat antisocial behavior, and asked residents to share their experiences of the cost of living crisis. In the summer, it was hell in Melville Street. People with challenging behavior, were being dumped up there, and started smashing windows, throwing furniture onto the street, fighting, being cuckooed by drug dealers and getting stabbed. I followed your downtown Toki channel to see what was happening. It's the only channel that exposes the reality of life and deprivation around Torquay town centre. I believe you successfully shamed Torbay Council into making landlords evict their antisocial tenants, as we move towards an election year. Oh darling, it's the best Christmas present ever, knowing that I might have had a hand, in helping to improve the lives of ordinary hard-working and forgotten people living in Torquay Town Centre. I'm still angry that Torbay Council hasn't adopted proper housing laws to minimize the risk of the same challenges coming back. From my analysis, I can report that the Lib Dems are asking residents to tell them how the cost of living crisis affects them. Why didn't they ask about the price of fish instead, because they can't do anything about either. I'm convinced they're playing politics. They want to portray the Tories as the nasty party, while they're caring. Frankly, if the Liberal Democrats cared that much for Torbay families struggling with the cost of living crisis they'd sell those gold chains, that the mayoress swans are round in. Talk about power going to someone's head. The mayoral chains won't belong to the Liberal Democrats. They couldn't sell them to feed the poor, even if they wanted to. The Tories are bound to oppose such a proposal, because they believe in conserving traditions. Get it? Conserve. Conservative. Oh you do make me laugh, gorgeous professor. So darling, what do you think will happen, at Torbay's local elections next year? Tell us, who the winners and losers are going to be. The current state of politics in Britain, leaves people cold. I suspect the Tories will take back control of Torbay next year, although with another low turnout. I predict that the Greens could surprise us supported by disgruntled Lib Dem voters and the Labour left. Maybe Torbay will get its first Green councillor? Well, it's Christmas time and I'm going to down a bottle of red from Carter's. Happy Christmas everybody. Mwah. Kiss kiss.